Okay, in this video I'm going to dock for the very first time. Now I've skipped the launch and rendezvous because they're fairly boring to watch. And went straight for uh, the docking maneuver. This is my first space station module, uh, the space station that I uploaded in my last video is orbiting right in front of me. And one annoying thing about this is that my as you can see, I'm actually facing backwards, so my nav ball, I have to do everything backwards. I can't use my normal indicators. I'm just switching my space station core around so that the docking port is facing uh, my first module. I'm going to attach to the bottom one there. It does take a while to flip around. And I'm trying to get it perfect here. That should be good. Turn on SAS. Go back to my other module. Work on getting my way there. All I'm trying to do is keep my retrograde vector on the nav ball pointed towards the pink um, indicator, which means I'm going straight at the other uh, ship. And as I'm coming in, my docking ports facing each other my ships bounce off of each other and at first I thought I didn't quite line it up correctly I thought the uh, tolerances were like much smaller so at first I tried to give it another go switch where I was controlling from and switch the target to the actual docking port itself But it turns out that I gave up, went online, saw what I did wrong, and apparently you have to be in the docking mode. You can't just fly up to it in, uh, in the lower left. You see the green uh, rocket button. You have to be in the docking mode instead, which is actually quite annoying. But that's all right. I ended up docking. It's a little bit wobbly, but overall works pretty well. And one of the key features of the first module that I put up is uh, not is not the observation coupler. It's not the extra living space. It's actually the umbrella and lawn chair that I put on the side of it. For perfect space viewing pleasure. I came up with two mainly because I wanted the symmetry so that the aerodynamics wouldn't constantly be putting me off course. But it worked out nicely. So I'm just sending my other Kerbin over there so he can enjoy the seat and enjoy the view as well. Hmm. Took me a little while to get it just right since you seem to have trouble getting close enough. But it finally worked. I have my two Kerbins in space hanging out, enjoying the view.